If only the money was still like that. It's not like that anymore. Look at her in the background. She don't even know what's coming. So they know to come correct. If you don't come correct, I'm gonna be bring, bring, bring and calling your ass to get my money back. <gasps> not as collapsing, bro. I just didn't like that because it's just like, who cares? You shot up a school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, do I sympathize for you? No. And he kind of is like a flim flammer. He's a scammer. So we got, I just want to spread them out like money. I don't like rats, rodents, possums, ferrets, all that, and any of the rodent family. No. So that is just sick. Every day I learn more things about American history that just pisses me off and makes me even more angry. <laughs> even more angry. Horror authors need to start adding possums to their stories because I promise those things have rained from the pits of hell. Oh, it's dark, child. Oh, there we go. That's better. So hello, 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 booktubing world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So. I just came back from the gym. Um, your girl is back into fitness. I'm trying to get this body snatched to the gods and back to where she began. Okay, if you don't know, I love the gym. I'm a huge gym head, so it's it's good to be back and join to a new gym. So this week, I'm going to be reading like Jesse from Bowties and Books. And this type of video is not new to the book community. Everybody's been doing these videos. I really enjoy this theme of videos because it's interesting to see who has like similar tastes. Sometimes when people do live shows or book clubs, you can kind of see what booktubers have similar tastes and which ones don't. But it's interesting to me to see somebody love the same book as someone else or hate a book that someone else loved. So I'm excited. As far as my taste and Jesse's taste, I feel like we have pretty similar taste. I feel like Jesse's a little bit more of a critical reader. We're both Tauruses, you know what I'm saying. Tauruses raised up. I really think our birthdays are like three days apart or something like that, but Jesse's cool as hell. I did want to take a second before I get into what books I'm gonna be reading and this vlog to say, Jesse's one of my favorite creators. They are literally one of my staple booktubers. You know how you have them booktubers that kind of open the door to you coming into this community like once I found out that YouTube had a section where people talked about books and I was trying to get back into reading and I didn't know who to talk to because being an adult and trying to make friends is difficult as hell it's even more difficult if you have a specific niche but finding a community on YouTube and seeing all these different people talk about books they love was so exciting for me the number one staple for me is Miss Catty Tastic she's one of the OG booktubers I read the smile is another one Jesse is another Another one. Mayana is another one. Those are like my top four. Oh, Riley Marie is also stable for me. Riley Marie is also stable for me. I forgot to mention her. These are all booktubers that I have literally binge watched. Like once I found their channel, I watched every single one of their videos. As far as Jesse is concerned, I have not missed a video. I have there's no video on their channel that I have not seen, even if they're unlisted or privated now. <laughs> but I absolutely have seen every single video Jesse has ever made. I admire them as a creator and as a person. I love hearing their voice as far as being Latinx. Jesse is someone who is very outspoken, who always stands up for what they see fit. And I just, I really just admire them. Honestly, I, I'm gonna turn, it's gonna turn into a whole speech, but I really do admire them. I admire their voice, I admire their creativity. When I first found Jesse's channel, they did more like skits and they did more like news related videos where they basically would talk about things that were going on in the community and I could not keep up because the book community has so many different damn platforms and so much shit going on between the drama with the authors, the drama on whatever platform was happening, adaptations, new releases, publishing companies you shouldn't support, publishing companies that are no longer a thing or emerging or whatever, I could not keep up. So I would always go to Jesse's channel to stay up to date on the news because I feel like they had the best information. It has been really fascinating and really fun to see Jesse's journey as a creator because obviously I haven't missed any videos. So I've been able to see them try different things and go different places, meet other creators, collab with other creators, start new things like their TBR cards and just I just I love seeing people be successful and feel that they're excited about I love hearing Jesse rant I, I hate for to see people read a book that they don't damn like 
but at the same time, it's, it's kind of like junk food. You just can't stop watching it. When somebody reads a book that they absolutely hate and, and rip it to shreds, Jesse is the number one person that's going to do that. But they also have a ton of books that they really love. I go to them all the time for recommendations for black books because I always want to support black authors. I really enjoy all the recommendations and i've read a few books that jesse has recommended me and i've loved all of them so i'm assuming and i'm guessing that this video is going to go well i'm thinking smooth sailing i'm thinking it's going to be a hit we really just wanted to shout out jesse as a creator and just say now my neighbor is wanting to be elephants today i really did want to take a second to shout out jesse as a creator and say that you know when you're in a in the creative field especially as a black creator it's kind of difficult to still have that same spark if you don't feel like you're getting recognition or enough recognition but we see you you're doing amazing keep creating keep coming up with ideas keep shooting for the stars because <laughs> i'm not gonna miss a video i'm gonna be there to support and comment and like everything as much as i can being a black creative is is very difficult in itself and i am hoping for a brighter future for black creators where they get more recognition and it's not like one in a million i'm rooting for you jesse you're doing amazing keep creating your light is needed we need your light we need your opinion we need your videos that's what I'm gonna say on that. Let's get into what this video gonna be about. What we gonna be getting into. So because it is spooky season, I asked Jesse for recommendations that were mainly like thriller, horror, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And if you know, that's not too far fetched from Jesse's brand. Jesse literally loves horror books, horror movies, thrillers. That's kind of like their thing. So I'm excited to read the books that they recommended me. I love horror movies and I love gore. So I'm excited to read all the gory, spooky, creepy things. We're also gonna be watching some movies that I asked Jesse for recommendations for, which are also like horror movies. I asked for a couple recommendations. So let me tell you guys about the book. The books that they recommended me are, number one, Ballad of Black Tom, which is luckily on script because you know, your girl has to go to work. So audiobooks really do be saving my ass, all right? So Ballad of Black Tom is number one. Burn Down, Rise Up which is, I believe, by a Latinx author, so I'm excited to read that. The Hunting of Jake Livingston. I really wanted to read this book, so I'm excited to read that. The Destroyer comics, which I've seen the cover for that, and it's absolutely insane, so I, I really want to read that. Ballad of Black Tom, Burn Down, Rise Up, The Destroyer, The Hunting of Jake Livingston, but we have four books in this video. They also recommended me some scary movies, so they recommended me Carrie, specifically 1976. I've watched Carrie because my grandmother was really into scary movies and I was really into scary movies growing up so I feel like I've seen it but I don't remember it. Like I haven't seen it as an adult so that's going to be interesting. What Keeps You Alive, The Descent, and As Above So Below. I don't know what any of these movies are. I feel like I might know some some of them but I just don't recognize them by title the only one I recognize by title is Carrie so I'm excited those are the books we're gonna be reading and those are the movies we're gonna be watching is everybody excited I'm excited oh and I have book mail actually <laughs> let me open that I might as well open it this will be the longest damn intro ever Amazon know not to play with me because I don't know why but they really be handling books like they are indestructible they just be throwing them damn books like they're bricks and and listen one thing about me if i don't get what i want i will be getting my money back so i do call amazon and be like y'all need to work on your delivery y'all need to work on your packaging whatever give me my money back so the books that they be sending me with bent corners damaged pages whatever that give me my money back i'm not playing with y'all so they know to come correct if you don't come correct i'm gonna be bring 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 and calling your ass to get my money back but we got some books of course i've been ordering a lot of books okay <laughs> i'm so excited oh this isn't a book this is my little mixer like i told you i'm back in the gym so i had to get something for my all my supplements and stuff you know what i'm saying i got more tabs because for some reason they just disappear and I literally have I got like six tabs and now I have no idea where any of them are they're all missing so we got I just want to spread them out like money spread it out like money like that you know what I'm saying a couple of them fell but it's all right we got this one I feel like I've had this color before this color 
I don't think I've had this one. Can y'all see? This color. I've had, I have this color and I, I haven't lost this. So I have this one. Ooh, I haven't had this one before. That's exciting. Camera wanna play in. There we go. Good job, girl. I don't think I've had this one either. There it is. And I haven't had this. Oh, purple. Purple is my favorite color. Purple. And I think I've had this one. And we have the little Easter egg colors. Yes, sir. So those are all the tabs that I got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got all the tabs, all the tabs, all the tabs, and the books. Ooh. I'm so excited for these. Are you my new favorite? Ah! I'm so excited. Eee! Eee! I'm not gonna know what damn book these is, but these are the next two books in the moon children series which i read in my latest vlog which was like paranormal books i'll link it up above so y'all can check it out if you haven't seen that yet the first book was hoodwinked and it brought a lot of emotions out of me some of them i'm not too proud of i was ready to fight one of the main characters but nevertheless it is a very addictive fun drama filled series so i'm excited to see what the other characters get into i just really love thick books like there is just something about a thick ass book i love either really short book 180 pages or less or really thick books like 400 pages plus like there's just something so soothing about just a good oh it's gonna be floppy too a good floppy book Oh my god i want to start this so bad but I, I really need to finish the book that i've been reading for like months now i have actually purchased all five of the books in this series i'm not ashamed i am not ashamed great series if you want to read about a black drama filled spooky magical witchy root magic family this is this is for you okay okay that's it that's the start of this video i will see you guys at the next update the next update will probably be i think i'm gonna read the ballad of black tom first because it seemed like it was the shortest one on scribd so i'm gonna read that okay bye bye <sighs> just came back from the gyme aka hi mommy I would pick you up, but I know you like to hug me as I lift you. And I don't want your claws in my shoulder. You see a tail? It's just a little kitty. <laughs> okay, so just came back from the gym. I'm going to update. If I, I, I know I look crazy. It's fine. We have a glow up coming soon. Soon, 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 soon. Anyway, I'm going to update. I've read two books. Both of them were audio. And the first one that I read was The Ballad of Black Tom. So The Ballad of Black Tom is a really short book that has a very atmospheric vibe. So it basically follows this guy, his name is Charles, and he kind of is like a flim flammer. He's a scammer. He lies to rich white people having them think he can sing and he can do all this magic the power of illusions, the power of make-believe. So they believe whatever they see. <laughs> so he's basically finagling these people to get their money and that's how he makes his living because he has to take care of him and his father. This book is also set in New York and there is a magical world slash setting that is in this book. So even though he is a scammer and he is a pretender and he is a, a liar, a flim flammer, she's distracting me. <laughs> put her down for a second a flim flammer there is an atmospheric vibe going on within the city so from his illusions he ends up catching the eye of one of these doctor something he ends up catching the eye of this guy who is really into magical abilities and illusions and he sees that charles aka tom is good at using them to his advantage so he ends up inviting him over to his house and then the house ends up moving around 
it ends up going places it shouldn't be going he starts talking about all these things that he knows of and tom's just like listen i gotta get the hell out of here and the, the story basically goes from there it basically goes from this guy who he comes in contact with he does a business arrangement with him and then it goes from there it gets very complicated but i really enjoyed it i'm gonna land it on a four star it was weird it was short but i really love the illusions i feel like they really missed the mark with this audiobook with not having music in it because music was brought up so much in this book i feel like if it had that spooky like guitar like in the background because he carried around a guitar case i feel like if they added like some type of as atmospheric like guitar strum or something like that to the background of the audiobook it would have just been chef kiss but nevertheless the descriptions of the illusions and the magic dwellers and the world and new york city itself it was very well done there were curses in here there were witches in here there was racism racism somehow always finds its way in everything but this is set in a different time period so yeah and what really got me made me i had to pause the audiobook for a second was when he said his rent was like it was either $30 or $300 or he said like he got like $300 and then he was like oh this is enough for rent for like a year. I was just like <sighs> if only the money was still like that. It's not like that anymore. Rent is like crazy expensive now but that part really got me. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed the audiobook. I really want to read more by this author. Victor Lavelle. I feel like I've heard of this author before. The first book that I read for Jesse it's a hit okay we got a four star it was short it was sweet i enjoyed it i'm glad that i read it so i also read burn down rise up also on audiobook and i had to <laughs> i had to take a little bit of a break from this one because something about the audiobook i don't know what it was about this audiobook but it just felt like when the voice actor wasn't saying like direct quotes from like characters it felt like siri was reading the book to me like it was just so cut and dry it was I, so i had to take a little break from that I took like a day a day break from it but i did finish it today and script has something going on i don't know what it is but their audiobook playback has been messing up there was a few chapters where it would just go quiet for like 10 seconds and i'm like great no i have no idea what happened then but for the most part i could fill in the blanks i didn't miss too much i think for this one i'll give this one like a three star it felt very ya usually i, I actually enjoy ya still and i don't have a problem with reading ya but this one specifically it just felt very young i really enjoyed the atmosphere though so let me tell you guys what this book is about this book basically follows the main character's close friend's cousin ends up going missing after he plays this viral game called the echo and he breaks the rules so he in the beginning he basically says like you know don't break the rules if you play the game don't break the rules and her mother also was affected by the game because she was a nurse that take, took care of him and when he touched her mold started spreading throughout her body so it's something that can physically affect you mentally affect you emotionally affect you everything it just tears you down from the, the top to the bottom if you don't follow the rules of the echo game this also tied in the fires that happened in the bronx where basically gentrification was at an all-time high and they were trying to push out all of latinx and people of color from the bronx to redo it and if they weren't raising rent, people were basically selling the apartments to slumlords who did not do anything to upkeep the apartments. And it got to the point where the slumlords were literally setting these buildings on fire with people still in them. And this is a real thing that happened with people still in them just to collect the insurance money and in order to push those people out of their own home. So that is just sick every day i learn more things about american history that just pisses me off and makes me even more angry <laughs> even more angry it makes my eye twitch a little bit but that's what happened with that so the curse is tied into the bronx fires as well i really enjoyed the latinx culture that was added in this i enjoyed the friendships there also was a sapphic relationship in this the rules of the game was really interesting it was creepy and I feel like this would do good as a movie. Like, I could see this being like a young adult movie. Personally, I'm not sure 
if I would have liked it better if I read it physically. I think the main character was just annoying me. She was annoying out of me. There was a lot of things that she was doing that was pissing me off and aggravating me. But the setup of the book, the curse itself, the spookiness, the friendships, things like that, the setting of New York, all of that was good. But the main character, I didn't really like her. I wasn't a big fan of her and following around with her the entire book was just like, nah, nah, yeah, yeah. But that's basically what that book follows. So I'm going to land that one on a three. It was okay. I thought the spookiness was pretty good. I could vividly see the things that were being described. It would have been really cool to see it as a movie as well. I've been seeing a lot of like streaming services pick up books. So I'm really excited to see if they start picking up like horror books and stuff like that. This definitely would be really good for like you know a younger crowd you know what i'm saying so that's two books down i feel like at this point it's time to watch one of the movies the only one that like i said before the only one that i know of here is carrie so i feel like i should watch one of the other ones i kind of want to watch as above so below but i don't want to watch the trailer because you know how they do with the trailer they, they give the whole damn thing away so i'm just going to go into a blind i'm not going to read anything about it no idea what the hell it's about but we're gonna go watch a scary movie i'm gonna eat some dinner shower and i'm gonna get this other video uploaded for y'all so this by now that video should already be up so if you haven't seen that i'll put it up here and we're gonna continue our spooky vibes you know what i'm saying it's friday let's get into it i will see you guys in the next clip bye i got my food y'all you can see I got this tuna nacho thing. I always get this from Pokey Burry if you're in Atlanta. This is so good. And I also got a Pokey Bowl with shrimp on the top. I just love all the vegetables and the rice in the bottom. Oh my God. And I did buy as above, so below. So I'm gonna watch that once I upload this video and I will see you guys then. the headband like be so for real right now you know what we move it is what it is i'm getting my hair done in two days i don't give a damn all right y'all two more books down so let's start with the comic book that i finished i finished destroyer i think it's still in my car but i finished that i really enjoyed that for some reason i thought it was a graphic novel the way that the art style was set up i think it was a comic so it basically follows this female black scientist 
that was really big in like the tech world and was learning how to manipulate and alter the human body to make it connect to make it connect to technology make it connect to nanobots and she was really successful in that. She was really dedicated. She was very studious. She got married. She ended up getting pregnant. So she lost a lot of the opportunities that she was given, specifically because she now was starting a family. And then she ended up losing her child. Her child ended up being killed. And she finds a way to bring him back to life. And when she brings him back to life, he now no longer can die. But as time goes on, he loses more of his personality. And there also was some someone similar from the past that was also destroying and killing people he was kind of like Frankenstein and he kind of was like obsessed with um, immortality and he found a way to be immortal himself and so the book was really good honestly I really enjoyed it I'm gonna give it four stars it really is more of like a 3.75 to me when I read the author's note it made me give it a four star because I just I just love hearing author's note because it just sometimes it gives me that little extra push I need to decide on what the star rating is going to be so I'm gonna stick with four stars I really enjoyed the commentary on being a black woman in the science realm and in the technology realm and being a career driven driven woman and being a black woman in general I really enjoyed the conversations around that they were touch and go um the art style was cool i always love seeing the end of graphic novels and comic books where you see other artists draw the same characters i love that honestly that <laughs> honestly that's like my favorite part of the whole book is when i get to the end and i get to see the same characters but in different art styles i live for it i live for it love it four stars i also listened to the audiobook for the taking of jake livingston for some reason i keep thinking the hunting of jake livingston i swear i've seen that somewhere i keep seeing like sometimes i see it as the taking of jake livingston sometimes i see it as the hunting of jake livingston child i don't know but y'all know who i'm talking about we're gonna put a picture up of the book up on the screen so finish that it was i don't know how i feel about this book it was like for me personally i feel like it's like a 3.75 four star i'm gonna give it a four star on goodreads i felt so gloomy reading this book like i i haven't really fully gotten my thoughts together as far as this book is concerned but i felt really like i felt like doom like it felt sad and it just felt like a never-ending like push and pull of like sadness <laughs> reading this book but I feel like that's the point you're supposed to feel hunted and you're supposed to feel disturbed and reading from the point of view of Sawyer and from the point of view of Jake and them kind of meshing together in a way it definitely added to like the gloominess if you don't know this book basically follows the main character his name is Jake and he can see from the other side in other worlds he can see ghosts he can see the ghost realm he can see ghouls and all of that stuff what he sees is a little bit different from everyone else and he's able to see this kid that went to his school who ended up being a mass shooter like a, a school shooter and he's coming back from the dead killing off the students that he was not able to kill when he did his mass shooting and you kind of get a, a dive into his life and you also get a dive into Jake's life and in a way they had like similarities and Jake is very quiet he's a younger sibling but he's the most mature of the two he doesn't really have any friends he's trying to find his way in like a very structured private school full of all white people he is the only black student in that entire school and it's all privileged white students. So you can just about imagine <clears throat> what his experience is up until another student joins who's also black and they have a little love interest, which was my favorite part of the book. Like their little love story was very cute. I would love to read a book, a romance book with just them. A little YA romance, would love that, very adorable. I haven't really gotten my thoughts all the way together for this book, but all in all, I will say it's a 3.75, four star. I don't know, I feel, I feel like I need to read some of the Goodreads reviews to fully get my eye. Because, like, you know how sometimes you have something to say, but you don't know how to say it, and then you read someone put what you're trying to say into words in their review, and it helps? I need some of that. But let me see what I put in my notes for this book. Okay, so I did feel like... <laughs> I did feel like, in a way, some of the characters lacked 
death. Like, they just felt like little props. Like, okay, you have the mean boy who's racist and he's a jock and he's, and he's not smart. And then you have the older brother who's really cool and he doesn't follow the rules and he does whatever he wants. It kind of felt like each character had, like, set things they were supposed to be. I don't know how to say it but like you know how you watch like a movie with like high schoolers and they're like oh she's the cool girl she's the popular girl oh those are the jocks oh those are that's what it felt like it kind of felt like that in a way but Jake had depth Sawyer had depth and that's basically it which makes sense because they're the main focus of the book I also kind of got annoyed that in a way it felt like he was sympathizing with like a school shooter um <laughs> I uh, uh, I don't want to touch on this too much because I don't want to get too like uh, deep into like gun laws and all that but I don't care what I'm going through or what's happening I will never connect or sympathize someone who went into a school and just started shooting everyone like even if he felt like he had justified reasons even if he was bullied even if they were terrible people and even if he was mentally ill, I also feel like his mental illness was like not really handled the best. It just, <sighs> I just get kind of tired of like them using mental illness as a, a reason for someone to just go shoot to up or, you know what I'm saying? Like someone struggling with mental illness or depression every person that struggles with depression isn't showing up to a school and shooting everyone and I will never sympathize with that fact him and Jake may have some similarities in, in the sense that they felt like outsiders they both felt bullied they didn't feel like they connected to anyone in the school understandable but I just didn't like that they were in a way like drawing connections together I just didn't like that because it's just like who cares? You shot up a school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, do I sympathize for you? No. I said the book made me feel really anxious, but that's the point. The point is for you to feel anxious. Like, it's supposed to be spooky. It's, it was very heavy on, like, the insect horror, which works for me every time. Works for me every time because I'm a very visual reader. So when you tell me something's crawling on someone or you start describing insects, um, Grady Hendrix did that a lot in his book as well. And it just makes you feel just anxious. Like it, just describing insects crawling on people and just it, it drives me crazy. But it works. It works. If you want to speak me out, add in some rats and rodents and all that. Blood, gore, that doesn't bother me. Insects, rats. A possum. If there's a possum in the book, I haven't really seen anyone. Horror authors need to start adding possums to their stories because I promise those things have rained from the pits of hell. Possums are from Satan himself. They are his children, his pets. Those things scare the shit out of me. And if there ever was a horror book that has some type of possum in it, it will be, I will be done for. I will be done for. I don't like rats, rodents, possums, ferrets, all that, and any of the rodent family, no. It did definitely give the spooky vibe. It definitely gave that creepy vibe. I really enjoyed the way that he was describing him being able to see ghosts and the other side of the, like the other worldly things that were happening. And they were all connected to like colors. It felt very spiritual for Jake in a way. Like I felt like the way he was describing like his medium abilities, it was like a spiritual sense. And what he saw was like a colorful aura or like, I, I just liked it. I really liked the way he described that. I, I, wanted, I wish it went to, into more depth. I wanna say that's it. Cause I can't think of anything else. All in all, I enjoyed it. I love this cover. I might, I low key wanted to pick it up, but I just, but all in all, two good books. And those are all the books I had to read for this vlog. So I have one more movie to watch because I've already seen, I think it's called Descending or something like that. I've already seen that a while ago when I was like a teenager and it was like one of my favorite movies so I already know what that is I've already seen Carrie so I don't want to see that but I want to see it's like what keeps you alive or something like that that Jesse told me to watch so I have one more movie to watch and then we'll close out this vlog so I'll see you guys then bye on a scale of 1 to 10 how much do y'all think <laughs> doll is going to hate this little ensemble that I have purchased for her look at her in the background 
she don't even know what's coming but i got her some toys hopefully she plays doll is very chill she literally just sleeps all day and plays for like 20 minutes out of 24 hours and she likes to cuddle a lot she loves attention but for the most part she's really not a big player she does get into stuff sometimes but for the most part she really doesn't got her some toys we're gonna see how she like it but this i can already see this going bad <laughs> Yes, I thought I'd have it figured out by now, see. but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how <laughs> anybody oh else knows. Yeah. Okay, I got one paw in. Tom keeps moving, I keep there. getting older. For what is it? Where did what is my it? life go? go? I gave it up. <laughs> oh my god! This is so cute. Hello. Oh my god. I don't see Walker though. Honey! Let him see your fit, girl. Look how she's so cute. Doll. Are you a little punky? Are you a little punky? She hates this. I can see it. Oh my god. I'm screaming. I think her ears are supposed to go on the top. Wait, let me check. Look at you. Oh my god. Look at you, you little pumpkin. She got out already. She's escaped. Try my best to hide the prisoner has escaped. <laughs> she don't know what to do. So Look how she's creeping. Yo, mommy, you already escaped. How you get both arms out already? Girl, you supposed to wear the fit for two seconds at least. No. Oh my god, I'm screaming at my Oh my god. Look at you. You're so cute. Are you so cute? Thing I've ever seen. Well worth the money, even if she does not keep this shit on. Oh, you want more pets? You want more pets, little pumpkin? Oh my god. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Little pumpkin. Little pumpkin. She's like, get this shit off of me. Look how she's walking. She's like walking low. Oh my god. Hey little punky. She's she's drunk. Is she okay? Watch her just watch me throw it. Look it. She just want pet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go. <laughs> oh, she's gonna go and see what it is. Are you gonna bring it back? Okay, get a little action. Got a little action. Okay. She's a little pumpkin. She's walking straight now. Before she was like, I'm terrified. Oh, oh, mama. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take. <laughs> She just tripped over air. I think, yeah. Good job. We got a cat. That's a little pumpkin patch. Look at the little leaves. Oh. 
she just wants some pets. She's like, just pet me. It's a maid. The gays win always. Who? One of them gonna die though. Like, yeah, that's happening. you guys so I'm gonna have to close this vlog out without you seeing me because I just got my hair done and I don't want you guys to see my hair until the glow up vlog I just figured I'd come on here I'll pop up all of the books that I read in this vlog I read books that Jesse from Bowties and Books recommended me they were all horror books or horror-esque spooky books that were written by black authors I enjoyed all of them I didn't hate any of them I think that I think that my favorite one personally would be The Ballad of Black Tom. Second favorite would be The Destroyer. Third would be The Taking of Jake Livingston and fourth would be Burn Down Rise Up. Overall enjoyment, my favorite would definitely was Ballad of Black Tom. I feel like as far as the book that made me the most like anxious i would say the taking of jake livingston it made me anxious it made me nervous it made me weary burn down rise up i feel like was more of like a spooky horror book because it was a lot of body horror it was like a lot of bugs i think taking of jake livingston also had bugs and creepy crawly stuff in it but like burn down rise up felt more of like a horror ish book the destroyer was different i enjoyed that one as well overall it was a great experience i also watched two movies in this video and one of them was as above so below which is also one of my boyfriend's favorite movies he said he's watched that movie like four times and he loves it it. and then I watched what keeps you alive honestly what keeps you alive was that girl like what keeps you alive was that girl it was very different from any scary movie I've ever seen we had the gaze in there and it definitely had a lot of twists and turns the shots the film like the close-ups the acting the atmosphere like everything about it was like creepy in a way like the setting the way you were so like secluded i just i really enjoyed it i really thought that was definitely a very different movie i definitely want to watch it again because i enjoyed it i really enjoyed that and thank you jesse so much for giving me recommendations for this video you guys let me know if you want me to read books that other booktubers recommend me. Overall, this was my first time doing this. It was a really great experience. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me a pumpkin emoji for Doll. Because Doll was flaunting her pumpkin costume. <laughs> And she didn't really hate it as much as I thought she would. I thought she was going to rip herself out of it immediately. But she kind of was just like uncomfortable wearing it. So yeah, leave a pumpkin emoji in the comment section below for a doll. I hope you guys are having a great start of fall. I hope everyone enjoys the spooky season. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves and reading books that they love and enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video next week. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time. Bye.